Hey guys, I'm Daniel. I'm the developer of the Kronos Remote app. And in this video, I would like to show you some of the features we have in setlist mode. As you can see, we have the iPad and the Kronos already in setlist mode and you can toggle the presets on the Kronos using the iPad and also the other way around. There is a special mode that you can put the iPad into. It says regular setlist on the top right of the screen, which means that both the iPad and the Kronos stay in setlist mode. If you change that to toggle Kronos, you can see that if I select a preset on the iPad, the Kronos will change its complete, complete mode and it will go out of setlist mode and into the um, mode according to the setlist spot. In this case, I selected a combi, so the Kronos will go into combi mode, which um, <clears throat> allows you to edit your uh, combi settings, even live on stage, while you still have uh, your setlist on the iPad. And if you select a program, the Kronos will go into program mode and so on. You can turn that off and the Kronos will go back to setlist mode, as you know it. There is a feature you can use the zoom gesture that you know from your Photos app to actually zoom in and out your setlist view, which makes it pretty easy to uh, find your presets if you have to hurry on stage. And you can zoom in again. So that's that. <clears throat> um, we also implemented in the current version a feature where you can actually edit your set list and in order to move that slot to another place because you changed the order of your songs, you just need to press it, wait a second until it starts wriggling. Now you can move it around to the place where you want to have it. And when you let go, the Kronos will automatically update its set list as well. So let's move another one with that up here and there it is. Uh, you can also move several slots at the same time by selecting one slot, wait until it wiggles and then you select another one and you can see that these three slots are now moving so means they are uh, selected. You can also select even more and when you move them now all of these slots will move to the new position. So let's move that one up here, it's easier to see. <clears throat> now we have the comment field which is up here. You can't see anything because there is no comment in it. If you want to insert a comment, you can double tap here, which brings up a commentary pad view, the same like um, this kind of view that you have on the Kronos, if you pull it down. And what you can do now <clears throat> is you can hit the edit comment button, which brings up the keypad of the iPad. And you can enter text like you can <clears throat> um, in every other text field on the iPad. You can uh, enter anything or you can um, insert text, for example, lyrics that you downloaded from the internet before. And you can just say OK. And the Kronos will, here we are, Kronos will automatically update with the lyrics that you just entered. Make it big. And also you can use the zoom gesture on the iPad as well. Make the text bigger. And if you swipe back, you go back to the regular setlist mode again. You can either change the mode by double tapping the comment field. Or you can just, oops, you can just swipe up and down. It's both the same. If you are in uh, comment pad mode, you can also use the next and previous button to select your presets. Same thing like on the Kronos. For live usage, we also implemented some real-time controls. There's the small, um, in the bottom right corner, there's a small arrow. If you hit it, <clears throat> it brings up a bar with real-time controls. Here we have the eight pads that you know from the Oasis that you can have on the Kronos as on-screen pads. But they are pretty inconvenient to reach, so that's simpler to have them here. We also have a ribbon controller. We have some knobs and sliders. Basically the same real-time controls that you find on the hardware surface of the Kronos as well. Um, and we also offer this surface mode in full screen. There is a small icon on the top right corner. If you hit that, you have um, a selection of controls in full size. So, as I said, you can move um, 
setlist slots around. You can edit your setlist. If you want to do that, not on stage with the Kronos connected, but in backstage prior to the show where you don't have the Kronos at hand and it's deselected, you can do that as well. <clears throat> if you, let's say, move this guy here and move that one here, like that. Um, there's a button turning orange which says update scheduled. This means that this set list is scheduled to be updated to the Kronos as soon as you connect it. This means you prepare to that backstage, you go back to stage and you connect your Kronos <clears throat> and it will automatically update the Kronos with the set list that you just edited. And of course <clears throat> it also works the other way around. And of course, if you did some um, edits that you don't want to keep, let's say you move these guys back here, you can um, disable uh, the scheduled update. And if you select the Chronos now, you can see that the Chronos setlist will override the iPad, and those two slots move back to the position where they've been before. So that's it about the setlist mode of the Chronos Remote app.